Hi, my name is Ashley Cobes, and the communication system I will be talking about today is PEX, or Picture Communication System. PEX is a form of Augmented and Alternative Communication, or AAC. PEX can be used with those with autism. Some of the benefits of PEX is that it does not require expensive materials or technology. A PEX system can be created at home with a printer, Velcro, and a binder. PEX is also beneficial because it provides the learner with immediate reinforcement. They ask for the item and then they receive the item. Another benefit of PEX is that it can be used in a variety of settings such as home, school, and the community and has been effective with those in preschool and elementary school. PEX might be most beneficial for those with limited expressive language. PEX can also help decrease problem behaviors and increase the use of appropriate functional communication. When using PEX, there are six phases. Before you start, you need to determine what is motivating to the individual. So for this example, I'm gonna say that crackers are motivating for the individual that I am working with. So you would start by having a board and you would teach the individual to exchange the picture for the cracker. So the individual will take it off and hand it to their communication partner and in return receive crackers. Once the individual has mastered this phase, the second phase is you will increase the items and the distance for the exchange. So you might then teach the individual to man for toast. If they really enjoy toast or bubbles. In this phase, there is still just one picture on the board. And where the first phase is, is the communication partner is directly across from or next to the learner. In phase two, they might be a couple feet away or at a different table from the learner. During phase three, the learner is taught to discriminate between items and from an array of items. So for this example, if our individual wants crackers, there might be three pictures on the board and they have to discriminate and choose the item that they want. So if the learner takes off crackers and hands it to the partner, they will receive crackers. During this phase, if the individual hands the communication partner or the cars, you would hand them to cars and let them play with it. And then if not, then you would prompt them for the crackers. If they do not seem happy with the cars, you could prompt them to take the picture of the crackers and hand it back over. The next phase is phase four and the learner is taught to use complete sentences. So there might be a picture that says I want or I need that they would put on their strip and then followed by crackers or so you'd hand it and it would say I want crackers or I want cars. The next phase, phase five, is used to answer questions. So the individual will have pictures or be able to flip through their book and find pictures to answer a question about maybe they are asked what do you want and they can answer. The last phase is phase six. During this phase the learner is taught to comment on what is around them. So they might have words or statements that they can select from that like I hear a train or I hear birds um, this allows them to participate in more conversation with those around them. This is my quick review on PECS. Thank you.